talking about the bed bugs? Yeah, he's talking about the bed bugs. Well, I, I was about to say in the in our actual apartment, the apartment. I, I mean, it, it, it's all of it. But, all of it. Okay, but yeah, go all ahead. I mean, the apartment was horrible. The apartment was bad. Um, <laughs> the apartment was 750 square feet. Okay. That's, you know, people live in that all the time. But ours was horrible. It was the floor is not a material that exists. There, the floor was made out of stuff that is not, it's not a thing. And um, it smelled bad. Uh, that it had. Um, our landlords were horrible. Um, we got we got into the apartment by the skin of our teeth. We so okay. Let's talk about this for a minute. There was this whole prevailing thing for our parents, and even now, like, I, I hopefully this doesn't hurt y'all's podcast. But oh, Dave Ramsey, yeah, don't ever ha- don't have any credit. Don't like buy things only cash, no matter what. Like no matter what the situation is, buy it cash. If you if you need a car to get to work and you don't have it cash, ride a bike. <laughs> Steal a bike and ride it. <laughs> Steal it. <laughs> Steal a bike and and ride it to work until you can save up the. Ca- All right. I know that there's a lot of good principles for it, but so you know our parents were on that and we were on that. So we had we had no credit. We didn't do anything with credit, right? Going in. And everybody was like, cool, where are you going to live? Because we're not, we're, we we're don't. They're like, oh, okay, can you show us pay stubs? No, we're both self-employed. And That's we have no kicker. credit. Because they, the Dave Ramsey. Where are we going to live? The, Nobody's running to us. The Dave Ramsey thing assumes you, because you can get into places if you're like, I don't have any credit because of that. Here's my, like, pay stubs from my employer. Here's my taxes, whatever. And they'll take that. If you're self-employed, all that's out the window. Then it's just like in Tennessee, it's they're just like, uh, well, it's our prerogative whether we're gonna rent to you or not because you don't have, like, you're self-employed and you have no credit. To us, that sounds like we're not gonna get rent. So, good luck on that. Yeah, here's a campsite down the road. Exactly. Like, there's a lot of fields, a lot of land, out in Bedford County still, but yeah. So nobody. Uh, and I even had I had first and last saved up. I had three at one point. I had three months rent for like depending on what we were looking at saved up because I'm thinking, yeah, here we go. And they're like, we couldn't care less. Like, we're not letting you in. Um, and so anyway, we got into that apartment because um, one of my best friends, shout out Brian Keith Hayes, Brian Keith Hayes. He's not an artist. He's not. He's just a regular guy. Shout out Brian Keith Hayes. Um. Anyway, <laughs> he knew. He knew. <laughs> he, <laughs> Shouting out the regular guys now. I can't. I can't wait till he sees that. The other guys. Uh, they're, they're definitely cutting that out. It might make the blooper. Real. I, well, I, okay, you can cut it out. You can cut it out, but at least give it to me, just so I have it. Um, uh, uh, one yeah. of Dylan's early songs, uh, he the entire hook was just Brian Keith Hayes, whole name. So maybe it will make it in the podcast. <laughs> the, my first mixtape, uh, <laughs> Smoke Signal, there's a song on there called Since. And and uh, I think the hook is shout out to Brian Keith Hayes. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Brian Keith Hayes. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, he knew the landlord of the apartment. Um, and that's the only way we, they were very reluctant, never really liked us, but they, it was a favor to him. They let us in, they barely wanted us in there. So anyway, we never were late on rent or anything like that. Like we were really good tenants, but we found possible mold in there, Mm. definite bed bugs, AC unit went out twice in July and we were sick. Um, this is all happening at, at the, the same, same time. time. We're reaching out to our landlord like, hey, it's literal hell in here. It's Gehenna in here <laughs> for you Greek New Testament. And so, um, and <laughs> sorry, I've had, a, I've had a lot of coffee, a ton of coffee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dylan on coffee is a different thing. It's a different it's thing. It's a different thing. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so all that's happening. They don't want to help us. They're like, you brought the bed bugs. 
it's not mold. You just want to break your contract. And it's like, what? No, we don't. We have nowhere to go. Why would we want to break our contract? <laughs> it's just that there's mold here. And they're like, no, it's not mold. It's you wanting to break your contract, whatever. They didn't want to believe us. Um, so listen, man, this is a very crazy story to prove to our landlords who you would think would want to know if there's bed bugs because of how they spread. And if you, you can, if it's just a 750 square foot apartment, you can take care of it and the rest of your units are good. But if you sit on it and they spread to all your units, right? All right. So we're trying to tell them they're like, nah, there's no bed bugs there. You're lying. You want to break your contract. And so I literally had to trap a bed bug and put it in a plastic bag so that I had proof, right? Anybody who knows anything about bed bugs, this is almost an impossible feat. I know a lot about bed bugs now, <laughs> but it's almost an impossible feat because they like, they, I'm sorry I'm taking up so much time on your podcast on this, but like they scurry to like. He probably has like 10 more questions. They, all right, all right, they, they scurry to corners and stuff. They don't want to be found, right? So like. Anyway, you got to picture me in there, like, in game mode, like, gloves on, like, I got the bag, I got <laughs> tweezers, I'm, like, ready to go. Because when I do anything like this, I'm, I'm like, all the way into it. And so, like, you, and you, they go under the mattress. So when you flip, they're going to scatter. They're going to scatter and get into little cracks. So I'm like, all right, one, two, three, flip it. They take off. I'm, like, diving on there, like, trying to get one. The first one accidentally kill it. It explodes. It's no good to me anymore. I see one running towards the back corner, right? And I'm like, okay, you have to get it and be gentle. So I'm like, just get it. And it's like still alive. Get it in the bag. I'm like, vindication. Like this is a this is absolutely a bed bug. This is definitive proof. You can't tell me it's not. Um, man, we had man, we had spread diatomaceous earth all over the um Everywhere. The apartment, because it said they couldn't pass through that. It, it's, it's like a very fine it's powder. Like a fine powder pesticide type thing. But listen, we had some kind of respiratory thing going in, go, going on. Like mm -hmm. we were sick. Yeah. And so there's all this extremely fine powder, like everywhere. It's like in the air, there's bed bugs. We are also like, they're like, don't like you have to dry all your clothes because the dryer will kill them. So we're trying not to wear clothes a lot so that they don't get in the clothes. So we're like, we have, this is this is before COVID, we have like the N95 masks on, like almost no clothes, diatomaceous earth everywhere with the vacuum, like vacuuming, up. it was it was so crazy, it was. The way we, so our AC was out. It was July, so it was ninety something degrees. Ugh. The way we slept though is because the bites. I was allergic to them, so I'd well up. Oh yeah, like and like it, they, the bites were not fun at all. And if they if they find food, they're gonna keep coming back. So we took off all of our sheets and all of our comforter off the bed, so they couldn't like get into all that. But we slept like fully covered like we had hoodies like with long sleeves we slept long sleeves long pants socks like we were covering every part of our body we could so they wouldn't be able to bite us and we don't have ac in the middle oh. of july like that's yeah. how we slept for like three nights in that apartment until they got the stuff fixed. sleeping like that and then the way that i described when it was time to vacuum up the diatomaceous earth which was everywhere wow um, that was just the apartment but yeah. yeah also in our first year of marriage was a lot of spiritual formation and heartbreak and a lot of what was the other thing i said at the beginning i don't remember well because chelsea yeah. was working with you mm -hmm. as well yes like she was your yeah, manager right yeah. was taking off during this time yeah so we both had full-time jobs and then we would come home and work our second full-time job which was dylan's music career so Man. um that's basically all that's that was how we operated for the first couple years of our marriage was just um, because, I mean, he was just starting out, but stuff was going well. But, I mean, when you're just starting out, you don't have money to pay people to do stuff. Right. So you have to keep all that money yourself. So I was the booking agent. I was shipping merch, fulfilling merch. The lawyer. You know, I was, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I formed our LLC. I she did all that with the LLC. state. She um, You were making I, legal documents. I was. Yeah. And I, I was our accountant. And um, I, oh, I, 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 uh, 
did all like the bookings and stuff. Like I like booked flights for your shows and like got the you advancing. hotels. The I did all the advancing shows. for shows. So I was doing all that while he was doing like he was making all the music and doing all the marketing and social media and stuff like that. So we were just basically a two person team for that first little bit. And I mean that's that's how we ran. Like there was no there wasn't really any room for much else at that point. Mm -hmm. That was just how we spent our time. And yeah. that sounds like a hard time that, but but it wasn't a hard time that separated you. It was a hard time that probably brought you even closer together because you're like having to go through this struggle together. Like, how are we going to make it through these bed bugs and like doing <laughs> like that's like hot yoga in the bed, like <laughs> yeah. covered yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. if y'all if you're listening to this and you're trying to figure out how to lose some pounds for the summer, <laughs> I, I promise you. Yeah. I promise you, if you're dressed like that in Tennessee, if you're in Florida, oh, good God, you'll mm -hmm. wake up like a different person. Yeah. You'll probably be dead, true. actually. Yeah, you won't make um, it. You, you won't make it. You wake up dead. Yeah. So you lose all your fat <laughs> in death. Yeah. All your fat would just be there beside you, laughing at you, yeah. like, you should have just stayed fat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Now you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all, we hope you loved this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow. That is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem, and we want to be a part of it. If you want to join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton. So smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> smash the like button on this video.